this is Rana. Welcome to a new light up card tutorial. In today's card, we will be combining some of Jupitronics products along with Makingo Designs products. I designed my circuit in the Silhouette software, then cut all the templates using my Silhouette portrait machine. As you can see here, I cut the battery holder template three times and I stack all the three layers together to get a thick board that have the same thickness of the battery. I also cut an extra layer with the same size of the battery holder template, which is 8.5 and 3.5 inches, and stack this to the thick board that I created. In addition to that, I just cut a small opening in the battery holder place so I can later easily pull the battery holder and insert the battery inside. After that, I printed the circuit that I designed in the Silhouette software and I'm using here the craft knife to cut the circuit out of the paper. The extra piece beside the circuit is the moving tab on our card and I will show you later how we should build it. Next, I am cutting the slot for the moving tab. And of course, we need to complete cutting the part above the battery holder where the circuit connects with the battery. Now I am working on the moving tab. What I am trying to do here is taking off a thin layer of the cardstock to make the moving tab thinner and that will make its movement easier. First we need to fold at the black lines. Then I'm starting to build this small circuit using the Gibitronics contactive fabric tape. To make sure that I have the best connection at the folded area, I'm using here the Gibitronics contactive fabric tape swatches. I stack the tab to get like an X shape and I am continuing to build the negative pole using also the Gibitronics contactive fabric tape. To complete building the circuit, I'm just adding one orange LED sticker. And now it's time to build our main circuit. I'm also using here the Gibitronic conductive fabric tape. But first I am adding the double sided adhesive at the back and preparing this to be stacked later on the battery holder templates. Be sure that you don't add the double sided adhesive 
too near to the slot because this will prevent the movement of the tap.
finishing the circuit i think here that the hardest part of the card is already finished now it's time to have some fun by stamping our stamps the stamp set that i am using today is one of our stamps magingo designs in the 2022 christmas release and it's called o tannenbaum stamp set i am using today Momento Tuxedo Black Ink to stamp my stamps and also the Ohoho brush markers to color them. it's time to build the background and I am using to ink it a few of distress oxide inks and they are wild honey, filtered violet, blueprint sketch and black salt. Using my die cutting machine and a hell die cut, I just cut three different hells to create the snow later. And to add more and more snow, I'm splattering the background with a white paint using a small painting brush. Instead of stamping the snowflakes directly on the background because they will be not so noticeable, I just emboss them on the film using Versamark ink and white embossing powder. Then I used my scissors to cut them out. I also made a hole at the middle of each snowflake so the light will go through better. I cut an extra piece of the white cardstock to create the handle for the moving tab and inked it with Wild Honey Distress Oxide ink. In addition to that, I created a hole above of the light so the light will go through better. Now it's time to assemble our card together, adding the stamps, the snow, the snowflakes and the trees, all that by using double-sided adhesive and liquid adhesive.
sentiment for today is ein Tannenbaum bringt Licht und Wärme in den Raum. This is a German sentiment from the O Tannenbaum stamps it and that's mean in English. A Christmas tree brings light and warmth in the room. I am embossing it on a piece of black cardstock using Versamark ink and white embossing powder. And this is my card for today. I hope you like it as I did. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I will be more than happy to answer you. Thank you so much for watching and have an adorable crafting day. Bye!